Hello friends, welcome back to Technique. Today we'll be doing the performance testing of the newly launched iQOO Z9. So iQOO Z9 is priced below the 20,000 price segment in India and this comes with a really powerful Dimensity 7200 chip. So let's go uh, to the settings. We'll just show you the device. So here we have the 2.8 GHz uh, Dimensity 7200 chip, 8 GB RAM and 256 GB storage and uh, we get Android 14 and Fun Touch OS 14 out of the box. So this is the device. So in this video, we'll be doing the performance testing of this device and see how good it stacks up uh, in terms of testing the CPU throttling test, the Geekbench test, the anti two benchmark score and also finally, we'll see uh, the stress test uh, in extreme uh, stress, uh, how does it stand up. So that's what uh, we're going to do in this video so before that if this is your first time on this channel do hit that red subscribe button and also hit the bell icon to get notified of all the videos we publish so let's start so first let's uh, go to the cpu throttling test so we'll just uh, show you the option so let's start the test so there you go you can see here let's also quickly look at uh, the temperature before starting the test so before starting the test you can see here 100 percentage battery right now and let's also have a look at uh, the uh, temperature so 36 degrees uh, is the temperature and 100 percentage battery so let's start the uh, cpu throttling test so now we have almost completed uh, the cpu throttling test and let's see the results so no cpu throttling detected in the 15 minute test the max value is 242 and minimum is 224 so the cpu throttling is absolutely not present so zero cpu throttling and uh, you can see that uh, in 15 minutes of test uh, just four percentage of the battery uh, was consumed and let's see the battery now 45 degrees almost close to 45 degrees so you can see here 45.1 45.2 so uh, temperature has gone up to 45 range but again uh, not a major concern uh, since it's a so throttling test but it uh, frankly didn't throttle even at 45 degrees so it went uh, almost uh, 9 degrees and battery drain was around 4 percentage so next uh, let's uh, see the stress test um, on this device so the next uh, test uh, is uh, 3d mark wildlife extreme uh, stress test it's a 20 loop uh, test uh, to uh, check the stability of the device after 20 rounds of uh, stress testing so let's get started so we'll start the testing so let's see how much of uh, now we have again uh, uh, allowed the device to cool down before doing the next test so now again uh, let's see how good the experience is So now we completed the wildlife extreme uh, stress test. You can see here the stability is 98.5. The best uh, loop score is 1154 and the lowest is 1137. So it's 98.5% uh, in terms of stability. You can see the loop score. And the battery went down from 96 to 89%. So that means around 7% drop. And temperature was quite okay, 24 degrees to 38 degrees. So there was absolutely no heating issues we can uh, just check here uh, it is now 42 degrees uh, the battery uh, here you can see here now uh, it's a uh, 42 degrees so absolutely no heating issues as such uh, it didn't go beyond the 45 and all so frame rate uh, 5 to 8 fps so now the battery is at 89 percentage after the a wildlife extreme uh, stress test so that was the uh, stress test now let's uh, go to the uh, geekbench as well as anti2 benchmark score so first let's see the anti2 benchmark score so now we have completed uh, the benchmark uh, score uh, 6 lakh and uh, this is the score the cpu score gpu score this is actually a quite a good score for a phone price below 20000 rupees and we have done this score uh, we have done this testing in monster mode so you can see here now uh, 83 uh, percentage of the battery so almost uh, uh, 6 percentage battery is dropped it came from 89 to 83 percentage and you can also see here 6 percentage drop 8 percentage uh, 8.2 percentage increase in temperature 
uh, during the testing so that's the uh, temperature it went up to around 38 degrees but that's not a major concern eight percentage or uh, six percentage drop uh, with this uh, testing so that's the score uh, you can see here this is a pretty good score and then let's also see the storage test this is ufs 2.2 that's one of the downsides of the device there is no ufs 3.1 uh, i, I could, could have done with uh, 3.1 but nevertheless there are some cost cuttings and this is one of them ufs 2.2 storage is only offered on this device so let's see how much of the score it returns and uh, you can see here the storage test is being completed and 41,616 that's uh, kind of low considering that uh, this is uh, around 20,000 price segment uh, but this is UFS uh, 2.2 storage so that's the Antutu benchmark test now let's finally go to the Geekbench test and we'll see the final values so now we have completed uh, the benchmark test you can see here uh, single core score is 1166 and multi core score is 2546 this is quite good score i would say for a phone in this price segment you can see that the benchmark result so that was uh, the geek bench test of the iq uh, z9 uh, so overall uh, we feel this is quite a good device for this price segment extremely powerful and uh, the stability is good the throttling is absolutely zero and uh, the scores are good the only probably the only downside i would say is ufs 2.2 storage in terms of performance so that is the performances hope you enjoyed watching this video do hit that like button and also hit the subscribe button for more videos thanks for watching hope to see you in our next video have a great day